All right, I know you're bummed out about Dextech resigning with Walsh Montgomery. But this, uh... Not a bit. I saw Emily at lunch at Emilio's with Guy Dexter. She was decked out in this tight red something like a ice skater's costume. She looked like something from an escort service. Well, I had a nice lunch with Mrs. Grimaldi. Oh, that's good. I'm sure you subtly suggested that she should dump Emily and company and sign with us. Uh -uh. I, I mean, I planted some seeds, <laughs> naturally. We talked about family. We talked about family and losses. Craig, hmm? you've got to realize that it would have meant something to us if Sierra had been here when we were so worried about Lily. You know the situation. I know what you tell me, darling, and I know what I think of the situation. And what I want to know is why you don't level with me. Why don't you just tell me she's not here, the children are not here, because we're having problems, big problems. Damien's just woken up, and he wants to see you. All right. Damien. I'm right here. Your mother said you wanted to see me. I guess I dozed off again while I was waiting for you. Where were you? She was with her grandmother. You were a great comfort to her. I'm glad to see that the family is so important to you. Something we have in common. Thank you very much. You know, I, I think that's about the easiest money I've ever won. I told you Emily would sign Dexter. Oh, and she did it in such a classy way. So she flirted with the guy a little. What's the big deal? So Walsh Montgomery has a reputation to uphold, which was the whole point of my stepping down, as I recall. Hey, Lucinda and your buddy Kirk were hot to steal Dex Tech. Now, if, if Emily wouldn't have done something about it, they would have. Now, give her some credit. Oh, God. If that's, if that's a reporter, tell them I've run off and joined a convent. enough problems in your life. You don't need a two-faced backstabber to... See you on a leash. Don't mind him. Why are you letting him in? Because I want him here. still conscious. His eyes are open, and he's aware of what's going on around him. Thank the Lord. Is he... is he in any pain? No, no. He still has the paralysis. He can't speak, so it's very frustrating for him. Emma, why don't you go in and talk to him? It may calm him down. love. Bob says that you're better. Try, try not to talk now. It'll come soon. No, no, don't try. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. No. Bob! Bob! All right. All right. Just calm down. Just calm down. Try to relax. Try to relax. I know this is hard for you. Try. Just that's it. That's it. Just relax.
as the world turns. Ned, I know this is very frightening and frustrating for you, but you will regain your speech. It's just going to take time. And once you're stronger, we'll set up a program of therapy. and We'll do everything we can to help you regain all the abilities that you've lost. And I'll be here for you, my love, for as long as it takes. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll stop by and see you later. Thank you, Bob. I'll be outside. Okay, my sweetheart. difficult this must be for you but we just have to be patient everything everything's going to be all right i spoke to valerie she said that debbie is doing much much better she, she didn't tell her she didn't tell her that you were ill because she knew that you didn't want to worry her sleep my darling debbie will be at her wedding Worry, my sweet love. It's all right. Try not to talk. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right, my love. It's all right. It's all right. When are you going to learn, Connor? Wise up. You know, he, he stabbed you in the back, and he'll do it again if it's to his advantage. If you can't look after yourself, think of the company, all right? Stop consorting with the enemy. Okay, groceries are all unpacked. I'm ready to hit the stove. Great, I'll give you a hand. No, no, no. I'm doing the honors tonight. And make sure he tastes everything before you eat it. And thanks a lot for trying to steal Dex Tech, pal. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I heard Emily had a pretty steamy lunch with the Dex man. Yeah, Kirk, we don't appreciate Worldwide trying to raid our client list. Well, you know, that was Lucinda's call. I only heard about it after the fact. Hi. Hi. What's up? Rosanna, how would you and Evan like to join us for dinner? I'm cooking. I didn't shop for four, but I think to make an exception for you two, I could stretch it a little bit. Well, gee, Kirk, what a lovely invitation, but uh, I, I think not. Fortunately, we, we have reservations at the Falcon Club. Thank you, though. Right. And we're not really going to go anywhere that fancy, are we? Well, it's up for negotiation, I guess. Uh-huh. Okay, we're out of here. I'm going to get him out of the suit before we negotiate. Oh, yeah? Let's go. Sounds pretty good. Uh, come Don't on. worry about me. Let's go. Good night, Rosanna. Bye. Ah, uh, Evan, still trying to poison your mind against me. Uh, let's not use the word poison tonight, okay? Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go in and create my masterpiece, but... I want you to kick back, relax, and just enjoy the dinner. I, I don't know about that last part, but I'll try. And by the way, that was the most insincere dinner invitation I think I've ever heard. Well, I just had a funny feeling your brother would decline. Listen. If you don't want any company tonight, I can just fix the dinner. I got lamb chops, by the way, really nice ones. And, uh, you know, pour you a glass of wine. You can sit in front of the TV, and I can clear out of here. No, don't do that. I'd like you to stay. I mean, I'm going to need you to taste the food, right? It's so good to see you feeling better. Sorry you were worried. My mind is clearer now. It's starting to come back. What happened before I was shot? Janice said that uh, after the bomb went off, Holden helped get me out of the building. Yes. I have so many questions. That'll wait till you get stronger. Your mother's right. Your mother's right. You shouldn't be worrying about that right now. Mm -mm. Can I get you anything? Well, I think you must be thirsty. Why don't you get in some ginger ale? Mama. Uh, let me check with the nurse, see what you can have. Okay. I, um, I didn't want to talk in front of Lily. Must 
ask you some questions. Why did that man Hans kidnap Lily? I mean, Eduardo won't tell me anything. Was it, was it the ransom? Was there some other reason? As far as I know, it was for the ransom. Mm. What does it matter now, Mama? Hans is dead. Well, I have to tell you, the police searched the building after the explosion. There was no trace of it. They think he may still be alive. There's a guard outside your door. Damien, who is this man, Hans? What does he want? You must tell me everything, because there's a chance he'll try again. talking me into this. You know, I didn't realize how hungry I really am. Yeah, well, mm. I used to do that myself. I got so involved in work, I had to be reminded to eat. Which reminds me, mm. you're doing a great job with Neil's stuff. Mm. Well, you know, I almost feel like I know her after working with her art so much, you know? She, um, she had a lot of life, a lot of sympathy. I had a good feeling about people, too. I saw the way that you reacted to the charcoal that I'm framing. Did it have special significance for you? Oh, well, that was a place I lived when I was in grad school. Mm -hmm. She visited there a lot. Always knew when to show up when I needed encouragement the most. Yeah. I never would become an architect without her. I were my own career. Or what's left of it. Riverwalk is a fabulous design. You're going to have your hands full of commission once it's open. Sam, you're very sweet, <laughs> but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Well. Lexi? Lexi Funk? Oh. <laughs> Royce? Yeah. Keller. Hey, wait a second. Hey, man, it wasn't my fault. The cops and the DA were all over me. I had to testify. I know that. Listen, I owe you one. Can I buy you a drink? I'd like to talk to you. Well, uh, I'm meeting a guy. Oh, all right. Well, and just let me say this to you. I don't have any hard feelings about what happened. As a matter of fact, if you hadn't come along, I might never have discovered that I had a problem. Yeah, <laughs> that was some problem. Three personalities. <laughs> which, uh, which one are you now? All of them. My doctor says I'm uh, integrated. <laughs> integrated, yeah. yeah, right. Well, uh, take, take care. <laughs> Lexi! Hey! Oh! Oh! Hey! Let's see it, girl. <laughs> hey, you know my boss? Uh, long story, Mike. Really? Uh, I am starving. <laughs> Let's get a table. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at the job. All right. She looked like she was about to run out of here when she saw you. Oh, she was not. She's, she's just very animated. <laughs> say that. Well, you can say this, Royce. You have not led adult life. <laughs> <laughs> Julie! Hi. Hi. I'm just glad to see somebody's having a good time. Hey, listen, has uh, Caleb taken off from the side of the world yet? Yes, as a matter of fact, he did. <laughs> I'm so depressed. <laughs> oh, well, you look good, though. Well, that's yeah. all that really matters. Come <laughs> on, sit down, join us. Oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to put a damper on no, your No, 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 you wouldn't actually. Company. I got to get out of here. Uh, I got some work to do. So sit down, keep my brother company. I'll get this wrapped together. You ain't going to be stuck all alone with this guy? Yeah. Ah! So let's get started. Give me one of those. <laughs> uh, Miss uh, Samantha will not be dining with us this evening, Matthew. So just tell Rosa there's just the two of us. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell her. Well? Well, th nothing. <sighs> Sierra is head of the Department of the Interior down there. It happens to be a huge job with all the rebuilding that's going on. I tried to be a part of it, but it doesn't matter. She is an Esteban, and I am an outsider. Fine, fine, if that's the situation. Why is it that you couldn't level with me? I don't want to talk about it because it hurts. I miss my wife, I miss my kids. OK, you got a problem. You're a problem solver. Solve it. What are you going to do? 
I'm hoping that maybe when the situation stabilizes and the crisis is over, Sierra feels that she can resign her office. Maybe then she'll move back home. Mr. Montgomery. Yes, ma'am. You have a phone call, sir. Mrs. Montgomery. Sierra. Thank you. Again. Oh. I, would you let me go? Oh. Hello, darling, Sierra. I, I, uh, uh. Hello? How's it going in there? Great. Lamb chops are under the broiler, potatoes are on the boil, wine's breathing, I'm breathing. <laughs> Beautiful. Listen, Connor, yeah. there's something I want to tell you. Lucinda's really trying to whip up a lot of interest in your trial. No kidding. I don't mean just with the City Times. She's talked to the people at Trial TV. They're thinking of televising it. So that's why you brought over the food and the wine to cheer me up? Oh, God, smoke. What? Smoke! Oh. Do something! Something's burning. Oh. oh, God. It's okay. Everything's under control. You sure? Positive. No need to call the fire department. Blaze is under control. <clears throat> How are the lamb chops? Well, they, uh, they caught on fire. I, I put them out with the water from the potatoes. Oh, it sounds delicious. Who are you calling? Hi. Can you send over a deluxe pizza with the works to 707 Oak Lawn Drive, apartment 2A? Walsh. Thank you. So I guess this means you don't want to try the lamb chops. They're blackened. I think not. So, dare I ask what the kitchen looks like? Well, the, um, the walls are, uh, well, they're a little scorched. Scorched. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, they say the distressed look is very in this year. So if you don't like it, I can repaint the whole No, thing. no. I'll take care of it. You've been helpful enough for one day. Just don't ever go in my kitchen again. Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. Why, you should let me handle this. It, it's looking a little scary in there. Scarier than you? Take a look at yourself in the mirror. Ooh, look at that. Charred <laughs> Kirk. A new recipe. Oh. Well, I came over here to amuse you. And I seem to have succeeded. Yes, I am amused. Thanks. I know. I know. I know you're trying to tell me something. You have to be patient. Your speech will come back. Don't be upset. You can tell me then. All goes well. Start him working with a physical therapist in a few days, and then a speech therapist. So does that mean he won't be able to talk until then? The relearning process is very gradual. It's not going to be easy. He's really going to need your mother's support. Well, she'll certainly have mine. I know that. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. That took some courage, getting Damien out of that building. <laughs> Listen, I think that uh, Lily should know about Ned. She may be relieved to hear that. I'll see that she's told. Thanks. What? What is it, my love? What are you trying to say? Make a very rapid recovery, Mr. Grimaldi. Well, I hope so. Thank you. I'll check in on you later. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> I knew you were feeling better as soon as you woke up, but it's nice to have it confirmed. <laughs> Lily. Lily, I'm worried. Not only for Damien's health, but for his safety as well, and yours. Mama told me the police think Hans may still be alive. 
Yes, but the police have a guard right outside your door, and they've hired somebody to follow me. Make sure I'm safe, so don't worry about it. Why didn't they do something before the kidnapping? You'd think after what happened to Patricia and to Bertram and... and then the bombing of the office in January. And Damien, it's not his fault, okay? I told him I didn't want to be followed. Well, now I you know. I didn't realize. Now you know how serious it is. Yes, I will take every precaution. Good. But until everything is settled, I... I think it would be much better if you'd come back to Malta with me. You and Lily. You'll get all the care you can need there till you recover. You'll be safer at the villa. I do really think the sooner you leave here, the better. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. The Monday night game of a lifetime. Yeah! The game you'll never forget. Yeah! Will Evening Shade finally win one? Look, if you're wearing that for luck, I'd, I'd rather lose. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Just that. I did not. I, I did not. I, we want the same things, for heaven's sake, darling. We want her here. We want Sierra want is kids. not going to come back here until the situation in Montega has improved. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Samantha. Hi. I thought you'd gone out for the evening. There are no lights in the pool house. Well, I did for a while, but I want to finish framing Neil's charcoals tonight. Hi. We were just talking about Sierra. How we're going to make a major effort to get her here, to get the children back here. <clears throat> you might want to get in touch with your father. I bet he's lonely. Do you miss him? Well, talk about that at dinner, all right? Actually, I'm going to skip dinner tonight. I had a bite to eat with Royce at the cellar. Oh, well, how is he? He's fine. Good. He was awfully nice to me the other day, and I'm concerned about him. We didn't want him to have a relapse or anything. He shouldn't spend too much time alone. Well, then you don't have to worry about him tonight. When I left, he was enjoying himself with Julie Wendell. <sighs> well, it's about time. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, it's been a hell of a month for us. Of course, with all this craziness, we had to postpone the wedding, and then Caleb got suspended. And then to top it all off, we found out that we can't get a refund on the money that he put out for our honeymoon. That's one of the reasons why he went off to New Guinea to try to get some of it back. I miss him. Another beer? If you insist, in a minute, I'll be right back. So Keller didn't think he was at the scene of the crime because it was his other personality. But I saw him there, which nailed me. I don't know. He seems all right about me testifying, but three personalities, who knows? He's a good guy to work for. Here he comes. Hey, Lexi, uh, I didn't get a chance to ask you. How's your band doing? Yeah, Velcro Elvis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we folded in Cincinnati. Not too retro. Uh... Tell you how her van gave out on the uh. back? <laughs> Actually, that's how we met. I uh, towed her in and rebuilt her in. <laughs> so you're a mechanic too, Mike? Hey, uh, I'm getting a new uh, group together now. Really? Uh, it's called uh, Steam Labs. I'm into grunge now. Mike's uh, advising me. Hey, you right. know, if we could find ourselves a new drummer, maybe we could get a gig here. Yeah, stranger yeah. things have happened. <laughs> uh, Julie, uh, let me introduce you to uh, Lexi Funk hey. and Mike Kaznoff. Oh, yeah. Julie Wendell. Yeah. Julie and I know each other. Hard. So then, uh, is Mr. Kelly your fiance? Uh, no, <laughs> we're just friends. Well, I'm going to get another round. Anybody want one? Yeah. Not me. Yeah. So, uh, who was the uh, blonde ex table before? That, uh, my twin sister. Oh, wow. Do you have a twin? Evan, 
Better than the Falcon Club. Well, if you're happy, I'm happy. Let me get some drinks and we'll find us a table. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Making a career out of this? Hey, back off, man. It wasn't my fault. Hey, now where have I heard that before? Hey, you're the one that's... Why don't you just look where you're You going? spilled the damn drink on me, just like last time. Last time? What is this? You guys know each other? Well, look at this. The Cabot Mountaineer to the rescue. What? This is the guy who gave you a hard time from Sparky, remember? Yeah, and God forbid anybody should inconvenience you. Hey, watch it, buddy. Hey, her car's still running. She's a nickel ahead. Ha uh ha. -huh. How do you know him? I told you about the workman who wrecked my suit at the riverfront. So you two are a couple. Yeah, and I got a dry cleaning bill for you, pal. Well, take a guess what you can do with me. <laughs> Evan, 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 it's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It's a small world, though, isn't it? You should have known there, there couldn't be two of that guy. What? Do you want to go? Let's just leave. No, I'm not going to let some blue-collar flunky chase me out of here. Give me a beer and a, a ginger ale. What's wrong, Mike? Nothing. Just a little run in with a couple yuppies, that's all. You know the type. Yeah. Now they snap their fingers and you're supposed to salute. Yeah, we got a few of them in the music business. The suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well that suit's got a big old coffee stain on it. <laughs> this shoot in New York next week should be a lot of fun. I'm just bummed that Caleb can't go with me. Hey, wait a minute. I may have to go to New York next week. Really? Uh-huh. What for? A commission or Uh, whatever? don't I wish. No, I, uh, I gotta close down my office there. The way things are going, I can't keep it open. Oh, that's a drag. Mm-hmm. How'd you feel about, uh, maybe cheering me up after I'm done? <laughs> you know, we get together, um, maybe taking a show. I hear there's a fabulous Frank Lloyd Wright show at MoMA or something. Sure. <laughs> All right. No, my plans have changed, Camilla. I won't be staying in Oakdale after all. Would you call the house in Malta, tell the staff to check up on the security arrangements? I'm bringing Damien back with me. And would you tell Dr. Uh, Di Vaccaro that I'm bringing Damien? Good. Well, uh, no, I, I just think he'll be safer there. Well, yes, and his wife, of course. I only told Mama that I'd think about it. She's right. Will be much safer in Malta at the villa. It can be guarded like a fortress. I just don't think you're well enough to make the trip. I'd consult the doctors here, and I'd have the best possible medical care in Malta. Besides, I like the idea of our returning to the place where we fell in love and were married. Sweetheart, I've made a lot of mistakes. I know that. But I love you more now than ever. When I thought I had lost you, I... Look, I think it would be good for us to get away. Not just for me. For us. Our marriage. The nurses tell me that Mr. Grimaldi's feeling better. Mm. Much. <coughs> Excellent. How's Ned? Uh, he's doing better. Too. Oh, good. You know, I think Emma would love to see you. Um... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll go to sleep after Bob leaves me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Think about what I said. Of course. Well, I see by your chart, uh, no wonder you're feeling better. Good. You're making excellent progress. Good. When do you think he'll be able to come home? Well, if this keeps up, I would say sometime next week. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm so grateful for all the care you and everyone here have given him. I, I hope he'll agree to come home and stay with me till he gets stronger. You mean to Malta? Yes. I, it's the only place I'm sure he'll be safe. Of course our doctor Mrs. will Mrs. Grimaldi, your son suffered cardiac arrest barely 24 hours ago. He's doing fine, but I don't think a trip like that would be advisable right now. Brian, that's on his birthday again. Wait a minute, I got a lovely one, Lucinda Marie. 
with her mom. Oh, they're beautiful and I can't children. I that one too. Little Lucy looks a lot like her mother. Yeah, she does. She does. I can't wait for you to see them. They're wonderful. <clears throat> Bryant is the clever one, and Lucinda Marie is the creative one. She's got the family art gene. <laughs> you miss them very much. Yeah, well, we all do. Right, darling? We're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best major effort to get Sierra here. Right? And... Mrs. Walsh, dinner served. Oh, thank you, Matthew. As you can see, Miss Samantha's here, so put another place up the table. Oh, uh, Mrs. Walsh, Rose is out of sorts tonight. I, I only Matthew. pulled her to for dinner. I'm afraid oh, that... Oh, for heaven's sake! I'm not afraid of Rosa, even if you are. Lordy. See you in the dining room in two minutes. Dare I ignore the royal command? <clears throat> oh, I'm sure you dare. I hope you won't. I don't feel like talking about my father. I don't feel like talking about my wife. Well, maybe that's because we both miss them very much. And maybe because we're both very lonely. If you're referring to what happened last night... But nothing happened. Did it? draw <laughs> you know I talked to Hal today he said he's going to uh, pull can out we all not the stops talk about and... my trial yeah okay thighs hmm <laughs> wow I guess it's my move huh Not a very good score. So who's winning? I don't know. Um, I'd say we're both about neck and neck. Lucinda told me that um, Emily really had a. Steamy... I don't really want to talk about Walsh Montgomery either. Okay. Can we just enjoy the game? Sure. You call the shots, okay? Okay. <laughs> New bile. New bile. That's a great word. Let's see here. What? Nothing. Come on, I know there's a theme developing in this game, but I'm a big girl. I promise I won't be shocked. Nah. What is it? Nothing. Show it to me. Cut on her. All right. You have a G. You have a U. Sorry. Well, at least it's not a triple word score. I 
I'm so sorry, my love. I don't understand you. It's all right. Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Listen, I need to go pick up Aaron and Janie Cobbs. Are you going to be okay here yes, by yourself? Yes, yes. I appreciate your staying. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Yes. What? I wish there was something I could do to help you. some water. You want a pencil and paper? Do you want to write something? You do. Okay. You think you'll be able to write down what you want? All right, my love. Where, where are you going? It's early. Yeah, I know, but this music is so noisy, it's giving me a headache. Well, uh, how about coffee now? Mm, I don't drink coffee anymore, but I will have grape soda. Hey, Mike, you want to dance? No, no, I don't want to do it tonight. Hey, Mike, who needs you? Is that guy bugging you? No. I could have a word with him. No, no, no. Uh, Evan, you got a nickel? Yeah, what, what, what for? Well, I didn't have enough money to pay that jerk at Sparky's at the time, so I don't want to owe him any. Oh, well, I'll take it over. No, no, no. I want to do it. luck holds out, maybe I'll never have to lay my eyes on you again. Yeah, well, don't tell me. The way you ride that clutch, like I told you, you're going to need a good mechanic sooner or later. I'm the best. There's no need to hurry. Just take your time. Try again. There you go. Here we are. I'll hold your hand. There we are, my love. Ned? Ned, what is it? Ned, nurse! Nurse! Ned, it's all right. I'm here. Emma, wait outside. Oh, I'll help him. Oh. He's having a seizure. He could stop breathing. Call for a code. You were coming. I can't stay long. There's something that I just had to tell you. So much has happened. Oh, Rosa, Rosa. Mm. Ah! Matthew put the coffee. I asked him to. We're going to have Yemen mocha. Ah. <laughs> what you brought. Yes. Mm. Wait a minute. That's not Yemen mocha. Surely it's not. No. Mm -mm. It's not. I mean, what's going on in this house? I asked Rosa especially. All right. Either she gets all her hair pulled out or I make the coffee myself. Rosa. Phew. <laughs> Poor Rosa. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about Rosa. Mm. She's always been able to handle Lucinda. 
Sometimes when the two of them get into it, mm -hmm. I swear you can sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Lucinda comes up with a decent pot of Yemen mocha, then maybe she can fill in for me at the coffee bar now and oh, then. Oh, yeah, right. I can see that Lucinda behind the counter slapping right? the customer. <laughs> the hostess from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Montgomery. Yes. Sierra. What in the world is going on? Sierra is back in the bosom of her family, but is this a happy homecoming? Tomorrow, as the world turns and you want to win the fight of your adopted son, then divorce your husband. Will Vanessa drop Billy to keep Peter? Next on Guiding Light. Champion John Rock. Furs by Christie Brothers. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns. This is CBS.